Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization 6 with me, Damon McWhiskey. We're going to be playing a uh, single player game. Uh, and uh, I'm not going to pick a leader, I'm just going to go with a random leader. I don't particularly care. I'm just going to try them out and see how it goes. Uh, we are going to be playing on Emperor difficulty. And that's for a couple of reasons. Um, the first reason is that uh, the game isn't really challenging on Deity anyway. Um, it just becomes annoying and tedious in my opinion. Um, the way they have it set up is that it, all it does is it severely restrict what a player can do. And what I love about Civ is being able to, you know, try a different strategy or do a different thing and, and do all sorts of different things in the game. And I just feel like the deity just is like, you, you basically, you have to go to war early. And then you you have to rush science and and it just it completely strips away all elements of the gameplay um such as culture and religion become meaningless um and i just really don't enjoy that so that's why we're playing an emperor i just i just i don't think the game is better on higher difficulties in terms of just you know chilling out and playing uh i will be playing on online speed because Again, it's sort of a tedium thing. I feel like standard is far too slow. It takes forever for things to happen. A lot of your turns are just spent, you know, end turn, next turn, blah, 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 move this unit, fiddle with this. Um, that doesn't feel particularly fun to me. Whereas I like it when it's quick, you know, you get through turns quickly and things you things happen quickly. So that's why I like the online speed. And we, uh, we're we gonna be playing on Pangea as well because I like it when uh, I have neighbors to interact with. Everything else though is going to be fairly standard. I'm not going to be changing any of the victory types. Uh, I'm not going to be changing the uh, barbarians to tribal villages. So I think let me just do a double check here. Ever? Yep. Okay. This looks okay. So I think we're going to go get started now. Um. Oh, interesting. We got Greece. So I'm pretty excited about playing Greeks. I haven't actually yet played Greece. I've played a, a number of the saves, such as Germany, Rome. Uh, Congo and a few others. I think I've played France and I played China and I think I've played Sumeria and uh, oh, what's the horse archer lady? Scythia, Tomiris. Um, I've played, you know, I've played a number of the civilizations, but there's still a few that I haven't, you know, gotten a full game in with. Uh, just because I, I really haven't had as much time as I would like to play Civ 6. But I'm pretty excited about, um, about Greece. We might do some sort of culture victory. We do have a unique culture district. Maybe we'll rush it or something and see what we can pull off. Uh, the plus 5% culture per city state is pretty interesting too. And the extra wild card is actually you know, a, a pretty powerful bonus. Um, the hoplite is kind of eh. It's, it's okay. It's nice. Um, I find the hoplite is actually quite good in multiplayer for defending against getting horsemen to rush it, but it's sort of a chicken and the egg thing there. Like no one's gonna horseman rush Greece because they have hoplites. Um, so even though it's quite nice for you know, at that point your opponent has opted into a losing strategy anyway. So we're gonna turn on show yields. I'll take a little peek into strategic view. I really like strategic view. I wish. Um, I wish I was able to play the game like this. I don't know why, but I um, I just can't. Maybe we'll try it one day. We'll try and do a strategic view game. Uh, but we have uh, quite a few options here for settling. I would like to settle on the river, if at all possible. Uh, we do have a desert here. I'm going to move here to see what kind of tiles I would lose if I were to move away. I kind of have to settle here in the river. So as far as I can tell... What we're really looking at here, are, what are my initial tiles that I want to be working? I could settle on the tobacco, but I would lose it. Um, I pretty much have to rush Petra here, I feel, in order to get any value out of this desert. Uh, let's see. I like... These initial tiles around this are okay, and around this it's worse, I feel. So for now, I think this is one of those rare occasions where, even though I have a good a few good options to move. I think I'm going to stay in place. And let's make sure we're working the good tile. And we're getting the faith early, which is nice. The first thing we're going to want to do is get a scout, I think. Yep. And then choose our technology. And I reckon mining is pretty good here. But we're going to need 
probably a farm uh, probably a farm here uh irrigation here so farm pasture yeah so we're gonna go animal husbandry like yeah we're gonna go animal husbandry first at the very least i think a bit awkward to have tundra down here too so I've, i reckon i'm in the southern hemisphere and quite far from uh the place i would like to be uh, there is, I could settle another city over here for Petra. That would be an interesting idea. I'm certainly not against doing that. But the question is here, do we go for a builder or a second scout? Now we could crack out a builder. And uh, get some Eurekas going. Which uh, I think isn't a bad idea. We're going to get a nice early builder. Do a little bit of extra scouting. Let's see what we can pull off. Well, we have expanded to a nice tile, so let's make sure we work that one too. It's not the best tile, but two fates this early, you know, maybe it opens up a religious uh, thing. Oh, and a second recon unit. This is actually fantastic. Uh, we know there's probably a lot of tundra down here, so I want to scout in the direction I want to settle. Is uh, is preferable, I think. So I want to like follow river systems. And uh, there is the then when I die, I there's the rainforest, so my suspicions were confirmed that we are in the south of the map. And uh, since I have two scouts, I think I'm going to kill this. I want to get it out of the way. I don't like um, I don't like it when they spawn barbarians into me. And the question is, do we go for a religion this game? We do have a faith. We're going to get a, a Pantheon pretty soon, actually, so it might be worth it to go a Holy Site. But for now, I think uh, if we get the Eureka, we might consider that. I think the first district we're going to be building, though, will be the, um, the Acropolis. We do have a hill next to our city. That's something I'm going to have to keep in mind. I should have been thinking of that when I actually settled my first city. Thankfully, I didn't... Uh, and screw myself but i think we're going to be going for irrigation to get that early the um the early amenity online let's have a look okay we go up into this another tribal village so i'm gonna grab that one i should have grabbed that one it was a mistake on my part oh hello pedro i thought i had turned off the leader things but i will have to double check now uh disabled confirm yeah i don't particularly like the um the intro videos they were interesting the first time you see them but um they're not not very interesting anymore so your delegation is most welcome it is not wisdom but okay let's see double experience for recon units this and I could go for plus five combat strength or I could go for I think I I think this is probably better and we'll just promote him grab that and faster movement on hills now where is the this guy okay so I'm gonna want to do a loop around down because I'm not gonna I'm gonna want to forward settle that guy along this river system because this is prime settlement territory and I don't have any very good settlement locations aside from that so I think uh, I think we'll go for craftsmanship early I since we're going to get the Eureka from that and we'll drop a farm there and then we'll be probably working that next turn so right there excellent we got another tribal village and a Eureka. So choose research. Uh, I think this is where we're going to have some ideas here. Now, we don't need sailing. We could use irrigation to get these online. And uh, surprisingly, we have a Pantheon pretty, pretty darn early. Um, I am going to be building some wonders this game, but the extra great person points from this is pretty nice. Although the amenity next to rivers is nice. Uh, 
think Divine Spark is nice because I'm going to be want every... I think I'm going to want a religion this game. So all of those are good things. Um, hmm. Now we have a couple of interesting things here that we could do. We could grab that monument to boost our culture. I think I will greed out the monument uh, because I feel like that is a good thing to do long term. So scout along here. Excellent. We got the foreign trade boost. Means we'll be able to get to the settler policy pretty quick. I'm probably going to build one settler before I get the settler policy. State workforce. Excellent. So I don't need to build a district to trigger that before I go to the classical era. And we're going to do a, a loop back with this guy and a loop around with this guy. See if we can continue on. Grab that. A little bit of faith. Never hurt anyone. We're probably going to be using our initial faith to speed up the purchase of a um, of a great profit. Let's see here. Granary. Granary is interesting, but I think what we will do is we will crack out an early crack out an early settler to set up for a Petra and Pyramid. So plus one production. It makes it into an okay hill. Uh, it's not amazing. Maybe would it'll never be a great tile. We'll probably crush it. We'll probably put our Acropolis here. I probably should have harvested it. Actually, all things considered. Um yeah, that would have inspired. I kind of wasted a builder charge there. Should have thought about that before I did it, but you know, it's fine. We're going to make sure we, we scout over here with the warrior because our scout is looping back. Push over here. And you keep kind of scout around this way. What is your mission? Train a heavy chariot. That is something we could potentially pull off. Um, who has grit enough to be you know, I'm not against that. So you go here and improve that. And then we can switch this over because we are past the halfway mark. And let's see what else do we need. Uh, so it's probably a good time to think about our first district. So I'm thinking that if we go holy sites into, at least in our capital, a holy site into a propolis, that could be an interesting, you know, start. Probably not a particularly strong start, but again, we're not we're not playing against uh, extremely challenging AI purposefully because I don't enjoy that. Um, plus one production is fine. What am I making? I'm making settler. Yeah, we're not going to worry too hard about changing our social policies. I think we're actually just fine with what we currently have. See if we can sneak past. We cannot. A little bit unfortunate that we got caught. Ooh, another goody hut. Uh, our scouts are being intercepted by barbarian scouts at the moment, unfortunately. I'll just hit him. For the sake of hitting him. That's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. Let's see, foreign trade. Uh, none of those appeal to me. We are going to want early empire. Ooh, a free builder. That's going to be useful to uh, head over here and get this guy set up in a stronger position. So let's keep going. Excellent, excellent. I am Isis Reborn. I am the living I, I swear I turned off those. What the heck? Um, options. Show intro videos. Graphics. Game. Uh, uh, let me see here. There it is. Animated leaders. Uh, I changed the wrong option. Well, it's off now. Uh, Hanging Gardens is an interesting choice. Potentially. We did get one settler. 
And I think our capital is going to be growing pretty heavily. Um, it might be worth it to trade for culture. Uh, hmm. Let's see, we could probably squeeze out a granary. Yeah, we could squeeze out a granary before we hit early empire, which would be useful to get our city to grow that little bit faster. But when it's producing um, settlers, it's not as hindered in terms of its growth. Ah, excellent. We found Stockholm. Did we find it first? We did. That was very lucky. We got a little bit of science out of that. What is your mission? Send a trade route. Oh, I might go Granary trade route. Train a heavy chariot. If I go Granary trade route, that could be pretty good. Although we could, a physician. yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna want to go Granary trade route because I'm gonna want to get the um, the plus from these guys before I hit the next era. And speaking of which, then I'm gonna want the wheel. I'm gonna want mining. It's pretty important. Uh, so where exactly are we going to settle this guy? I want to settle him in where I get the most Petra tiles, but I am the least disruptive to uh, my other cities. So probably there, one, two, three. Yeah, that captures the entire desert. So there's a good spot. There's also, okay, and it, it's close to the shore and it doesn't block too many too many settles, so that's going to be the spot we settle in. It does have some pretty poor tiles, so unfortunately. And let's keep going here. Okay, that's the end of the turn. I'm going to settle here. Not the greatest settle ever, but. It is uh, probably worth it to get the get the second amenity online for the bonus. Now, this guy is going to need a lot of things. Probably the first thing it's going to need is a... See how long until we get to pyramids. Pretty soon, actually. So it's not going to be able to do anything particularly extreme. I, mean, I don't want to use up my desert petra tiles probably a good idea to grab a monument hmm so we do have a lot of science a monument in this city would be nice because it'll help prevent me from spending too much on purchasing uh purchasing tiles so i think i might go for monument. but i also want it to grow to get more production so I think growth. I want to get it to grow. This city needs some help. And uh, I think we're probably getting pretty close to uh, thinking about ending the episode. So we're going to just take a few more turns here. Maybe we'll get up to around turn 20, 25. And uh, see how that goes for us. Now we, uh, we've hit our point here where we can get a boost. And this guy's growing in three turns and the tech is finished in four turns so there's no point uh continuing to work it now the style isn't particularly good i'm just doing it for the amenity hopefully once we get petra though that'll be a better tile keep going uh there we go oh horsemen that is bad news we're gonna need to recruit a couple of units uh See, wait there. We are definitely going to need to recruit a couple of units. Get in the hill, stay in the hill. Oh, I really want a trader, but I don't have the the timing just does not work for me. I could purchase a trader and then build a couple of warriors. Yeah, that works. Um so we're going to want to work this tile. Let's make sure we're working the good tiles. Yeah, work that tile. Make sure you get prioritized production and growth. Let's do a little slam here. Across the river. Oh, excellent. I always like sniping goody huts out from under people's noses. Level up. 
and head over here. Okay. Now, probably get another. Where are we? Maybe we could do a slinger, although we just need blockers, yeah. Oh, that's bad news. Look back over the past. Okay. So we're gonna wanna go plus twenty percent plus fifty percent reduction for settlers and this. Fortify there and hopefully survive. Let's keep pushing. We send this guy over here to deal with that. Build a quarry. Ah, oh, you would go there, wouldn't you? Skip turn. Oh, unfortunately we lost a scout, but you know, that's just the way things go. Uh, we have unit maintenance, 15% production. Yeah, this all seems fine. Uh, how close are we? We are not close at all because I forgot to build one. Um, see if we can squeeze in a holy site somewhere. There's a good spot. I know I really want to be building settlers right now. Um, but the sort of timing I'm being forced into means I have to um, get a couple things squared away before I get to the Acropolis attack. Now, where are you going to? Excellent. We'll go there. Extra little bit of faith might help me snipe a religion. Don't reinvent the wheel. Just realign. Yeah, up into the hill. Uh, slam this guy. Get up over there to help him. And we're gonna we're gonna send a trade route on the very last turn of this. But I think, um, doing a quick overview, I think this covers our first episode. Pretty interesting. We did manage to actually crack out exactly 25 turns. Um, I think it's a, it's a pretty good start. Let me know what your thoughts are on the game. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and all that jazz. Uh, I hope to see you in the next episode.